question. Where were you living when you were a student in Leuven? I was a student in Leuven a long time ago, and when you watch this street, the second corner, of the second floor, was the room where I lived for four years, study. But there was one advantage. The advantage was that I just had to cross the street to find my pub to have my beer. <laughs> After all these efforts for education, how did you end up finally in politics? Giving me the job of building up a patient with the help of Esther Obey. Again, I had no work, so I was looking for something else. And in 2015, I got retired. I stepped down as chairman in Leuven of my department. And then I said, What can I do else? And Manfred Wicht one day he told me, Hi, you are living so close to Brussels. Many things happen in the European Parliament. In the European Commission, they make decisions. They do not know what urologists, what urologists do, what we can do for patients. And this is how I started going to the European Parliament with Philip de Bakker at that time, who was a minister in, uh, in Flanders, who was then an MP. He, I was linked to him for one week, and I followed him doing all the job. And I went to the European Parliament with the help of Sarah Cohn from NHS Europe. We have been building on giving transparency, giving explanations of what urology means. We have started all the work on getting prostate cancer and bean cancer. And this is still what I'm doing today. So next to the, my first baby, the patient, we have a second, which is the policy office. And I will be happy to continue leading on this in order to get prostate cancer, male cancer, the right place in the European Union and the Commission. The Lifetime Achievement Award, which goes together with this pack. Congratulations, Heine. Thank, thank you very much. I must say that I've been telling you, all the ladies in the central office that have helped me to get this award. I will now use it to reward a little bit the ladies that have helped me to achieve what I have today. And this is obviously my wife Connie and my three daughters, Elke and Lucia and Ine, of whom I'm so proud that they have let me go when I wanted to go and to do the work for the EAU as I have done. Thank you very much and I wish all people a wonderful EAU 21. Bye bye.